This lecture is a summary of this course. This map shows the major topics we have covered in this course. And here are some key high-level takeaway messages. First, uh, we talked about the natural language content analysis. Here, the main uh, takeaway message is natural language processing is the foundation for text retrieval. But current NLP isn't robust enough, so the back of words representation is uh, generally uh, the main method used in modern search engines. And it's often sufficient for the most of the search tasks, but obviously for uh, more complex search tasks, then we need a deeper natural language processing uh, techniques. And we then talked about the high-level strategies for text access, and we talked about the push versus pull. In pull, we talked about the querying versus browsing. Now, in general, in future uh, search engines, we should integrate all these techniques to provide multi-mode information access. And then we talked about a number of issues related to search engines. We talked about the search problem, and we framed that as a ranking problem. And we talked about uh, a number of retrieval methods. We started with an overview of uh, vector space model and the probabilistic model. And then we talked about the vector space model in depth. Uh, we also later talked about the language modeling approach. And uh, that's a probabilistic model. And here, the main takeaway message is that the modern uh, retrieval functions tend to uh, look similar, and they generally use various heuristics. The most important ones are TF, IDF weighting, uh, document length normalization. And the TF is often transformed through a sublinear um, transformation function. And then we talked about how to implement a retrieval system. And here, the main uh, techniques that we talked about are how to construct the inverted index so that we can prepare the uh, system to answer a uh, query quickly. And we talked about how to do faster search by using the inverted index. And we then talked about uh, how to evaluate the text retrieval system, mainly introduced the cram field evaluation methodology. Now, this is a very important uh, evaluation methodology that can be applied to many tasks. We talked about the, the major uh, evaluation measures. So the most important measures uh, for uh, a search engine are MAP, uh, mean average precision, and NDCG, Normalize the discounted cumulative gain, and also precision and recall are the two basic measures. And we then talked about the feedback techniques, and we talked about the rock hue in the vector space model, and the mixture model in the language modeling approach. Feedback is a very important technique, especially considering the opportunity of learning from a lot of click throughs on uh, on the web. We then uh, talked about the web search, and here we talked about uh, how to use parallel indexing to solve the scalability issue in indexing. We introduced the MapReduce, and then we talked about uh, how to use linked information on the web to improve search. We talked about the uh, page rank and the hits as the major algorithms to analyze links on the web. We then talked about uh, learning to rank. Uh, this is uh, use of machine learning to combine multiple features for improving scoring. Not only the effectiveness can be improved using this approach, uh, but we can also improve the robustness of the ranking function so that uh, it's not easy to spam a search engine with just uh, uh, some features to promote a page. And finally, we talked about uh, the future of web search. Uh, we talked about uh, some major directions that we might see uh, in the future in improving the current generation of search engines. And then finally, we talked about the recommended systems, and these are systems to uh, implement the push uh, mode. And we talked about the two approaches. One is content-based, one is collaborative filtering, and they can be combined together. 
Now, uh, an obvious uh, missing piece in this picture is uh, the user. You can see, so uh, user interface is also an important component in any search engine. Even though the current search interface is relatively simple, there actually have been a lot of studies of user interfaces related to visualization, for example. And this is a topic that you can learn more by reading uh, this book. Uh, it's an excellent uh, book about uh, uh, all kinds of studies of uh, search uh, using the face. If you want to know more about the, the topics that we talked about, you can also read some additional readings that are listed here. In this uh, short course, we only manage to cover some basic topics in text retrieval and search engines. And these resources provide additional information about the more advanced topics and they give a more thorough treatment of some of the topics that we talked about. And a main source is the Synthesis Digital Library, um, where you can see a lot of uh, short textbook or textbooks or uh, long tutorials. They tend to provide a a lot of information to explain a topic. And there are multiple series that are related to this uh, course. Uh, one is information concepts, retrieval and services. Uh, another is human language technology. And yet another is artificial intelligence and machine learning. There are also some major journals and conferences listed here that uh, tend to have a lot of research papers related to the topic of this course. And finally, uh, for more information about resources, including readings and toolkits, etc., uh, you can check out uh, this URL. So if you have not taken the text mining course in this uh, data mining specialization series, then naturally the next step is to take that course. Uh, as this picture shows, to mine big text data, we generally need uh, two kinds of techniques. One is text retrieval, which is covered in this course. And these techniques would help us uh, convert the raw big text data into small relevant text data, which are actually needed in a specific uh, application. Now, human plays an important role in mining any text data because text data is uh, written for humans to consume. So involving humans in the process of data mining is very important. And in this course, we have covered various strategies to help users get access to the most relevant data. These techniques are also essential in any text mining system to help provide provenance and to help users interpret any patterns that the user would find through text data mining. So in general, the user would have to go back to the original data to better understand the patterns so the text mining course, or rather text mining and analytics course, uh, will be de dealing with what to do once the user has found the information. So this is the second step in this picture, where we would convert uh, the text data into actionable knowledge. And this has to do with helping users to further digest the found information or uh, to find the patterns and to reveal knowledge buried in text. And such knowledge can then be used in the application system to help uh, decision making or to uh, help a uh, user finish a task. So if you have not taken that course, uh, the natural step, the natural next step uh, would be to take that course. Thank you for taking this course. I hope you have found uh, this course to be useful to you. And I look forward to uh, interacting with you at a future opportunity.